That's the steam in. Let's try that for an hour. Get on with making the um, former. So this is a bit of an experiment, but I'll come up with this simple curve. I'm going to transfer this over to the ply and then one, two, three, four, cut five layers of that. Screw that together and that's my corner. Okay, so I've got this cutter from Felder here, 80 mil and has a bearing on the bottom. So it's like a massive template cutter compared to something like a router. Because I've got a new spindle molder and I've got this new head to try, this cutter head, I'm gonna do it on here. I've simply cut a profile here and I'm just gonna trace that with a bearing onto here. And this is about 80 mil roughly. It's about the maximum cut. Okay, so I'm pretty impressed with that. It's the first time I've used an 80 mil profiler and it's cut that really easily. Yeah, pretty cool. It's not pretty, but this bit will be usable on other projects. I'll just kind of number that and that'll be one of my corners. And I'm gonna come up with an idea, I think, of the different templates because I just don't have space to make tons of these full size and leave them around as I'm sure most of us don't so I've got to come up with a better system I'd actually like a peg system I was thinking of drilling this here and here with 20 mil holes so this would slot down over two pegs and then bending into different pegs anyway let's see we're going to learn together the steam box has been going for about 20 minutes we've still got plenty of water in there so I'm just going to keep that going I'm not going to open the door now I put a strap around there because I didn't, I forgot to buy latches. So I've got no way of locking these doors. Um, so I've just put that around for now. There's no sign of any leaks anywhere else. The wood's getting pretty hot. I would recommend doing this outside because there is a lot of steam coming in here. It's quite a big room, but getting a bit steamed up. So I think next time I'm gonna do this in the hallway. Let's give this another 20 minutes and then we'll quickly see if we can get it bent. Clamps are working pretty well. I think it's successful. I'll know better tomorrow when I let this dry and do a glue up. My biggest problem has been, and I'll show you guys, is I needed to cut some straight edge here because there's nowhere to put a clamp. That is the main problem, which was a bit of an oversight. So I'm gonna cut a kind of bird mouth equivalent here on the bandsaw tomorrow for the second attempt and then I'll be able to get a clamp across here and across here. The edges, no splitting at all at the moment, is pretty much around about 90 degrees.
So this is the first one clamped, 90 degrees. Oh, well, this stuff takes about 45 minutes to dry. I'm gonna give it an hour. Um, I don't know if you've used this lumberjack or this sort of polymer glue. I think the worst thing about it is the cleanup, which is horrendous, especially on your clamp. So I'm not looking forward to that. Get the clamps off, see what the spring back's like. And none. No spring back on that, which is cool. Okay just run that through sander. Okay, so the first steam bend's finished. It is bang on 90 degrees, so I'm really pleased with that. Clamping it diagonally with a single clamp there has got it spot on, so that worked really well. There was no splitting or cracking at all. Three more of these to do, and these will be a similar leg design to my other tables on there, the, th the round table. Really pleased with that. It's come out better than I imagined. Thanks for watching.